to Cosplay Savvy's Lessons in Cosplay, Lesson 1. Sewing, yay, so you're gonna need to know how to do this for basically everything if you decide to make your own cosplay. But it's also good to know if your bought cosplay has a malfunction. So sewing, especially hand sewing, is a very good tool. Hand sewing can help you fix little mishaps like um, maybe your button fell off and you want to sew it back up. Or, and it's an example, these are a pair of pants I have to fix. Yeah. Big wardrobe malfunction. A lot of people think it's hard. It's not really as hard as people make out and out to be. There's different types of stitches you can do with hand sewing. It's once you learn, it sticks in your mind and it's very easy to do. To start hand sewing, you're going to need a piece of fabric. This fabric that I have is black twill. Well, twill is a suit fabric they mainly use it for men's suit. I'm going to show you today I have so on this. For hand sewing, you're going to need hand needles. They come in a little round thing like this. And you turn it and out of the slot you can get out a needle. You have your needles with big eyes and you have the ones with your little eyes. Well, for some people starting out, it's easier to use the bigger eye. Um, for me, I've been sewing for a long time, so I'm used to using small eyes. This eye is broken. On a needle. If you see me referring to an eye, that's the little hole you put the thread through. So, it's an eye. Now, if you only have needles with small eyes, they make this lovely thing called the needle threader. You have your needle, scissors, to cut the threads and cut the fabric if you need. This is a pair of Singer scissors. The red. Today, even though I should be using black thread on a black garment or fabric, today I'm going to use white because it's easier to see and also it'll be easier for me to show you what the different type of stitches look like. Here I have my thread. I'm going to show you how the needle threader works. So, we have our needle. Then, we put the needle threader through, we take our thread and put it through the wire of the needle threader, so it's like that. Then we just pull out and it started. Once your needle is on the thread, you fold it in half and tie these ends together. This is double threading. Single threading would be just tying a knot at the end of your thread and then at your needle and not doubling it. So this is double threading. Okay, so since we have our fabric, our needle and thread, our scissors and our pins to keep our fabric in place, we are ready to start. Okay, so I'm gonna pin my fabric so that it stays together. So mainly how people pin is you stick it in, go under, like that, see there's a needle right there, then bring it up. 
what you're going to do is take your needle, push it through the fabric. It doesn't have to be at an angle. Push it through the fabric and pull. Congrats, you started the first step sewing. Right next to where the thread exits, you're going to select your spacing of your stitch. I'm going to put it a little far away so that you can see the form of the stitch. So, do the same thing and poke the needle through the fabric and then pull. And there's your first stitch. Turn the fabric over and the back of the fabric should look like this. Now, you can't see the stitch that you made in the front to the back. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do a weaving in and out motion. So, you're going to keep making stitches that thick. So, I'm going to, again, puncture the fabric, pull my needle through, and go. So I have my first stitch on the back side. Now flip back to the front. Repeat. Push through. Pull. Push through. Pull. Okay. So this is called a straight stitch. So basically it's just weaving in and out, in and out, almost like a basket. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the side where your thread is sticking out. Of. And what you're gonna do is the, the loop, your stitch that's right next to the thread, you're gonna go under it with your needle. So you're not going through the fabric at all. I'm not puncturing the fabric. I'm just going through the loop. So you're gonna pull. Now you should have a loop like that of the other fabric. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take your thread up like this. Come in to the loop, pull, and then in this little loop right here, you're going to go through again. And then you're going to pull very firmly and quickly. That closes you off. So now what you would do is cut it. So leave a little bit of thread there. Yeah. So there I have it, my lovely straight stitch. Right here, where I sewed the two pieces of fabric together, they're sewed together. So if I were to try to pull it like this. So that's your basic straight stitch. Yay! You learned how to hand sew. <laughs> lesson will be wigs. Yay! We'll teach you how to deal with the wigs. So get ready because next time we're going to do wigs. Knowing just this straight stitch will be a lifesaver for you one day. When you have that dreaded wardrobe malfunction. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, lovely YouTubers. Adios for now.